Hello, 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 everyone. It's Melissa here in Crafty Max. Hello again, it's me. All right, friends, this is a wreath kit tutorial. This is the Welcome with the Pineapple. Isn't that just so beautiful? Absolutely love this. Now, this is actually going to be very stunning. Believe it or not, friends, when we put everything together, it's just amazing. It's just going to be amazing. Okay, now this is wreath kit number 1695. 1695 and I'm going to go ahead and bring you down to my workstation so you can see what all is in your kit and what we're going to do with it. Here you go friends. Let's bring you down. Here we go. Now of course you have this 11 and 3 quarter inch sign from Crafty Max. This is our sign. MG designed that one. Let me set that aside for now. In your wreath kit you have three ribbons. You have your funky bow ribbon which is this gorgeous pineapple and this is cut at 24 inches and you need nine each. And then you have your ribbon tails. They're cut at 13 inch inches and you need nine each. Let me go ahead and show you how to dovetail those. I just line my ribbons up, kind of just like that. Oh, you don't need to be seeing me here, friends. Let me pull you over just a little. Fold those over. And then we're just gonna cut at an angle. Cut at an angle. Line them up. And then we're going to fold them over, okay? And then cut at an angle just like that create that dovetail easy 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 friends now I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside for now and I'm going to show you how I'm making the uh, curls I'm only making 10 curls for right now because I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the top layer of the full wreath so I'm just going to do 10 I may end up doing 18 but let me show you how to make those in your wreath kit, you have three more meshes, and they are the white, the green metallic, and the yellow. Now, I'm going to go ahead. They're all cut at 10 inches, and I only did 10 each at the moment, but you may need 18 each. I'm folding them over for about three quarters of an inch. See that? To about an inch. And then I just start rolling, making sure my ends are lining up. And just roll, roll, roll loosely. I'm using my bow dabber to hold my curls. Okay, let's just go ahead and fold this one over and then just roll, roll, roll. Everybody does their curls differently. Just find the technique that works best for you. So when you do that, it's a little bit easier for you, right? Okay, roll, roll, roll. And then what we do is we crisscross two of them to make an X. Put the third one in the center. And I'm using a clip that I got from the Dollar Tree just to hold those. Now you can use a chenille stem as well. I've done that a lot, but because of my arthritis in my hands, I'm having to use clips. But we do what we have to do, right, friends? We do what we have to do. So we're just rolling, rolling, rolling. Taking your other two meshes, doing the same thing, and then just roll. And I'm well, as I roll, I'm going a little bit looser, but I'm also making sure that the ends kind of line up, okay, on each side. Now this one is a little bit wonkier. This is a little thinner mesh, so be careful with this one. Um, this is a decor mesh, it's not deco poly, but I do like the color of it, so it's really, really pretty for this pineapple. Place two, crisscross, and then the third one. If you see some fraying, just go ahead and snip that off, because we know, friends, all mesh frays, right? So that's the curls. Now, for your base, in your wreath kit, you have two rolls, which this is all that is left over from the two rolls that I have, okay? You have two rolls of this fabric mesh, check mesh, I love this. I cut them at 32 inches and you need 18. 32 inches and you need 18, okay? Oops, I don't even know why I did that. Let's put that back. Put that there. Now, in your kit, you also have this 15-inch round elevated work wreath form. There's eight ties on the top, 10 ties on the bottom. Okay, this is a Craig Bachman uh, reform. Now let me go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to start doing your woodland ruffle. So we're gonna take one of those uh, 32 inch meshes that we cut. Let me see here, let me grab my phone. I'm gonna use that as a weight. Let me clean it off, friends. I don't want y'all to see how dirty my phone can get sometimes. <laughs> Y'all know how that is, right? Okay, now I'm just going to, and this mesh will fray. See how that's fraying just a little bit? But we're gonna tuck these ends under like that, kind of like we did the curl, and I'm gonna roll it one, two, three, four times. 
roll it four times. Now you can roll it five if you want, if you want that curl a little bit tighter. Right, one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna ruffle. And that ruffle is about an inch, okay? It's about an inch ruffle right there. But look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? Now, I'm gonna place my woodland ruffle straight down, like the butterfly, okay? I'm gonna open up this tie, place it straight down, and I'm gonna tie that off. Now, these ties like to move around on this form, and it can be a little hard to work with sometimes, um, but just do your best. Once you get more on there, it'll stay pretty much um, where, where you put it in place. One, two, three, four, clip, okay, come do this end, one, one, two, three, four, and this one has kind of like a guide with this line right here, and I just kind of ruffle right where that line is. It's a little bit easier when you have something like that. Now, the plain mesh is a little bit more difficult to stay in the center, but the more you do this, the easier it will become, the easier it will become. Now, I'm going to make sure that those ends are up against each other, just like that, standing to attention. Let me show you one more time. One more time, friends. Here we go. I'm folding it. Now, see, that's only a half of a loop, so make sure you complete that loop, and that's one, two, three, four. And you can make them looser than I am, or you can make them, whoops, sorry about that, friends. That's my honey collar. Let's see, one, two, three, four, or you can make them a little bit tighter the light way I am, but you don't want them so tight it's a bad perm, okay? You don't want your curls to look that bad. So. Did you say bad perm? <laughs> bad perm. <laughs> yeah. You don't want a bad perm. Trust me, friends, I've had bad perms. You don't want that. It's not a good looking situation <laughs> at all. All right, now I'm going to finish the top and I'll bring you back around and when I come down to the bottom part. Okay, friends, we're back. Now, I'm getting ready to come down to the bottom part. I did all of the top woodland ruffles. Now, when I come down to the bottom, I just kind of open this tie like that, one on the top and one on the bottom, and I'm kind of pulling, pushing up those woodland ruffles so I can get to that tie right here, and I'm just placing them. Once again, I'm going like it's the butterfly. I'm not going this way. I'm going this way, placing that right in there. And I'm pushing that down, and then I'm tying it. Now, it's very, you want to be careful when you do this part. You don't want to twist that mesh in that tie, but you want to make sure it's tight enough to where, you know, it's not going to come loose. Let me show you a couple more times. Now, once again, these wooden, these, this mesh is cut at 32 inches. And you need 18 each for this base, so you need two rolls of the 10-yard rolls of mesh. One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. One, two, three, four. And if you have enough clips, you most certainly could go ahead and make all of these up ahead of time and then put your wreath together. Uh, that's not a, I mean, you find the technique that works for you guys. That's what I always tell you. Just find your own technique. Okay, grab a hold of that tie it off and then I'm just see how that's smushed right there you just want to bring that back up so that they're bookended together like my friend Tammy always says okay on both sides and look how pretty that is and they're going to be really pretty friends okay now I'm gonna go ahead and finish around the base and I'll bring you back okay friends we got all of the woodland ruffles on the base isn't it that's just gorgeous isn't it i love the green in this so pretty and it just matches this pineapple sign so beautifully look how pretty that is you could absolutely just put the sign in here and if you just love the simplicity of this you could add just a few ribbon tails and just let it go now i'm thinking my friends i'm looking here and i'm going to go ahead and put the curls on the outside that we made so I'm gonna see, maybe I won't put them on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and add them to the bottom. And I'm opening that tie and I'm pushing those curls in because this there that's a lot of mesh uh, that we're adding here. Now you most certainly could do just two extra curls if you want, if you didn't want the white or the yellow, but I think you really need that yellow. The green I went ahead and added because of the metallic in it and I thought it would give it just a little bit of added texture. 
And you know, friends, I love added texture. And that pop of yellow, it definitely needed. So I'm going to go all the way around the base. And I'm going to add those curls. And I'm, I'm adding them horizontally. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. Now make sure that your woodland ruffle is still up against each other, all right? Because you want to see all that beautiful, beautiful mesh. All that gorgeous mesh. Okay, let's add another one. I'm opening that tie completely. And I'm pushing that woodland ruffle in just like that. And then tying it off and kind of moving those curls real sweet like to where it looks really cute. Look how pretty that is. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish adding them around the base and then I'll bring you back my friends. Okay friends, I have all of the curls on the bottom. Isn't that just so pretty? Now before I add any curls on the top, I'm going to go ahead and add the sign because I may just want to leave the simplicity of the green woodland ruffle there with the ribbons and I'll make that decision whenever I have the sign on. Now, like I said, this is 11 and 3 quarter inch sign. I'm gonna poke, I'm gonna punch a hole in the top, the bottom and on each side using my Euro punch from Michaels in the jewelry section. It's a 1.80 mm, 1.80 millimeter. And I'm gonna find the center of the sign as best as I can. Punch a little hole, come down to the bottom and I'm gonna do the same. Okay, and then I'm going to on each side of the um, sign. Okay, find the sides here. Okay, there we go. Now, in your wreath kits, you also have Chanel stems. These are 12 inch Chanel stems or pipe cleaners, whatever you want to call them. There's four of them, and they're for your sign. Now, you can use wire if you want, but I kind of like just using a coordinating. Chanel stem color that way if it shows when you put your sign on the wreath uh, at least you see it's really pretty uh, Chanel stem instead of wire on your sign I think um, for me I just like that better but I know there are some people who like to use the wire which is okay if you do use wire I would probably get maybe a 22 gauge that's what I used to use because I I used to use wire at first and I'm like I just didn't like that look when it would show so I decided I was just gonna use the Chanel stems. Why not friends, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do the last one here. And like I said, I always use that color that coordinates with my wreath and the sign. All right, now here we have all four of them on. I'm gonna come over here. And I'm going to just push these little curls up and also the twist ties. That way I can Put my sign right in the center. And I'm just going to push those little woodland ruffle curls up just a little. So they can kind of snuggle the sign, right? Because you know how I like for my regular curls to do that. So I like my woodland ruffles to do it as well. Let's pull this one up here. Make it look a little cute. Look a few of those little ruffles. Oh, love, love, love this. Love it, love it, love it, friends. Let's see the top. Let's just pull that up a little bit, maybe right here. That's the top. There we go. See how it's just inset just a little bit? I like my signs inset just a little. Now I'm going to bring it back towards me. Make sure that it's centered before I attach it. Oh, that looks so pretty. So pretty. Really, really is. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start at the top. I'm going to go straight through that woodland ruffle, going straight down. Okay. Actually, I may come up just a little bit because this is a different form that I usually use. And I want to make sure that that sign's not going to shift down any. All right. I think that will do it. That's the outer form. There's the top. Okay. You want to make sure that you don't yank on that Chanel stem and sink that sign in any further. I just like it inset just a little bit. Not a whole lot. Alright, I'll show you what I'm doing underneath here when I get over to one of the sides. Now, once again, I'm going to pull this back towards me. Make sure it's still going to be centered. Oh, 
yeah. Now I'm going to go straight down. I know my sign is centered. I'm going straight down once again. Okay. Once again, reaching underneath to grab a hold of that Chanel stem. Okay. There we go. And I'm kind of like lifting that sign, not lifting it, but holding it and pulling on that Chanel stem. See that there? That way I'm making sure that any, if it's loosey goosey there at all, it's not loose anymore. And that, that sign's gonna be nice and taut on there. And it's not gonna shift. All right. And you're not gonna sink it anymore either. You don't wanna sink it. If you hold it like that, when you're pulling on that Chanel stem, it should stay right where you have it. All right. Okay, now let's come over. I'm going to wipe my sign off a little bit. I'm going to come over and do the same on the sides. Straight down. Mm -hmm. Now this is the way I do it. Remember, friends, this is always a suggestion. You can most certainly make your wreaths any way you want. Uh, this may give you a starting point. It could be a, a really good starting point for you. Now, once again, I'm going to hold that sign right there and pull on that Chanel stem. See that there? I'm holding that sign in place, but now there is no, um, that Chanel stem is not loose at all. There's no kinks in it. Pulling it one more time. Wrapping it around. Sorry, friends. The phone's sitting right there. All right, there we go. Now we're coming over to the other side. Now, I'm going to make sure that it hasn't shifted and it's still centered, so I'm going to pull it back towards me. Ooh, that looks so cute. Going to go straight down. Okay. Holding it, making sure that that's... Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this underneath. Now, you saw me with both sides. Now, look here. See right where that Chanel stem lands on that bar, that's exactly where I'm gonna wrap it around. Um, if you do that every time, your sign should stay pretty straight because you're checking it each time, right? Wrap it around. Oh, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna put the ribbons on the top and then I'm gonna put the ribbons on the bottom. I don't believe I'm gonna do any more curls on the top just because that is nestled in there so sweet like look at this mg i don't think i'm going to put curls on the top layer because i really love that green all the way around i think the ribbons will be enough color I agree. Mm -hmm. that wooden ruffle i think i'm going to do that every time for now one because i really love that look yeah, okay friends now i'm going to go ahead and show you how to add your ribbons now remember, this is the, the Funky Bow Ribbon. It's cut at 24 inches, and you need nine each. Now I'm gonna start up at the top. That's just the way I like to do it. Now make sure your pineapples aren't upside down when you're facing your wreath, okay? Even though these are going sideways too, but hey, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. Now I come down maybe about five inches, five inches, and I just realized I clipped my nails, friends, and I didn't, I didn't file them to make them look real pretty. So sorry, friends. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is so crazy. Okay, now I'm going to have to do it this way. There we go. One of these days, I'll get back to doing my manicures, and oh, I just, I'm looking forward to that day. I was thinking about that this morning. Oh, I know. Manicuring your hands. Yeah, love it. Okay, now I'm going to twist this tail around so both of them line up. Make sure you bring your loop around so it lines up. Look how pretty that is. Now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to twist this tie just a little bit to bring it up because I don't like my ribbons to be under my sign. Now, if you're one of those people who do, you don't need to do that. It's just something that I do. I wrap that tie around the back of that funky bow loop, give it a squeeze in the center, and then I just fan out my ribbons. Fan them out real sweet. Like, if you don't twist your ribbons in that tie, they should lay real pretty for you. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. Now let's go ahead and do some of the uh, ribbon tails. Now these are cut at 13 inches and you need nine each. One of them's a two and a half inch and the other one's a one and a half inch. Twisting that up just one more time because it's under that sign. There we go. I'm just going to fan those out. Fan them out real 
sweet like this way by not adding the curls on the top you do see more of the woodland ruffle underneath which i love that mm -hmm. let's do a couple more and then i will bring you back after i have all my ribbons on it's pretty neat huh friends y'all don't have to stand here or Watch me do all of them. But now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do lives though where I'm making reads completely. So, because I like to chat with y'all. Twist this tie up. Yeah, that one's way under there. See how by twisting that up, it's not under that sign now? Mm hmm. There we go. Fluff that out. Turn that loop out. Mm hmm. I just really, 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 really love this. Look how pretty that is. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do some more tails. One more tail, and then I'll bring you back. Just one more. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just fan them out. Just separating them a little bit. Okay. Like that. All right, friends, I'm going to finish the ribbons, and I'll bring you back. Okay, friends, this is what we have so far. Look how pretty that is with that sign. It's just gorgeous, the colors and everything. The last thing we're going to add that is in your wreath kit is the tubing. You know, my friends, I love, love, love the tubing. And in this case, you have this gorgeous yellow jute, this gorgeous, gorgeous yellow jute. And you also have this, I guess this is more like a sagey green tubing. I love it. Now, we're just going to go ahead. And you're going to have about 15 inches. You're going to cut maybe about 15 inches. And I kind of like to twist it just a little bit like that. Come over here. And I'm actually going to open it tight just a little. Place it directly on top of that ribbon. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. But that... Looked like it was a little up. The uh, it needed to be pushed down just a little bit. So we've got 15 inches. Give it a little twist. Open at one time. Push that tubing down in there, and I kind of lift it up just a little. Look how pretty that tubing is in there. Just gorgeous. I'm really glad that I left the curls off the top and just have them around the bottom because it really supports. Uh, the wreath a little bit on the bottom like that. I don't know. It just makes it really, really stunning. I love this. This is so pretty. If you love pineapples, whoo, this is going to be for you. Going to be for you, my friends. Now, see, I'm going to open it one more time so I can push that tubing down just a little bit on that tie. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Okay, friends, let me show you what it looks like with the tubing on it. It is so pretty. Look how cute this is. I absolutely love this wreath. It is so pretty. Now, I would flip the camera around if I could, but with this um, thing that I'm using, I can't. But it does say welcome. It does say welcome. I will take pictures and all that good stuff. And this will be listed in my Etsy shop today. It'll be listed today in my Etsy shop. Look how pretty with that tubing. And I'm so glad I just put the curls on the outside of it this time. So that you see more of that green around the top where the sign is. I think it's just really well balanced. All right, friends. Think, oh, oh, one more thing. Now, for those of you who got this wreath kit, make sure that if you want to do it like I am, I'm going to use my one and a half inch ribbon, which is this uh, yellow and white check for my hanger. And I will probably put either a yellow or a green or black. Could do, I could use a black too. Place mat on the back just to clean it up. All right, friends, thank y'all so much. And I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.